How's it going everyone? Mick Ambrose here from All About Tech. Welcome back to another video. I said last night that I'd be doing a how to mine electronium video on PC and this is it. Um, obviously, electronium need as many miners as possible at the moment to help get this, um, this average algorithm for the difficulty to get lower uh, as fast as possible. So they need as much hashing power as possible. Um, and a lot of people just don't know where to start in terms of mining. It seems like it's really complicated. I'm happy to tell you that whilst it looks complicated, once you set it up, you'll realise actually, oh, that's actually kind of easy. Um, this is going to be more like kind of in depth as to um, the ETN Academy video that they put out. It was good, but there was no one really to direct as to what exactly you do at, at each point. It, it was literally just bullet points. Um, but all in all it was a good video i'm just here to, to 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 expand on it and 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 show like a live uh step by step so i've deleted everything um apart from this uh hmr stack at the top right of the screen um and very quickly i just need to click on the uh the capture cursor there you go so um so what we're going to be using for this is xmr stack just because it's really easy to configure and we're also going to be using um ha ha <clears throat> hash vault hash vault pro um because it's an easy pool to get set up with as well um so if we go to if we go to um the hash vault hash vault pro website this is the main website i'll pop it in the description and I'll pop in the description the other links to the other things as well. But technically this is the only link you need because everything is within this on how to get started. So as you can see here, we've got Electronium. Give that a click. It will take you to this uh, bit here. Uh, I've already got a spell on here, but I don't need that. And here you want to click on getting started. And what we're going to be using is XMR stack all in one mining software click that it will take you to the github page for that and it will be this xmr winstack 64.zip download this folder i always recommend to save link as um rather than just clicking it because it would just if you just left click it it will just go straight into your downloads um i always right click save link as and then you can you can set the directory as to where it's going to save so you don't have to move stuff later so I, I, for the purposes of this video, I just redirected it to the desktop. And here it is here. Um, and what you want to do is you want to extract here. Um, and it's going to come up on my left-hand screen with OBS, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let me drag that over. And basically, this is the XMR stack software all in here. Double-click to open up the... Um, the folder and you have uh, five uh, app application stuff here so what we want to be doing is um, clicking on uh, double clicking on the XMR stack um, sometimes you may have to run it as administrator and um, most of the time you don't have to um, and my one doesn't prompt my Windows Defender because I've already set it to um, to remember it but um, in most cases, it will come up with a Windows Defender, um, kind of like a pop-up, and then you click on More Info and then click Run anyway. It's absolutely fine. It's it, it just flags it as, as as something for some reason. And then this is what you come up with, and it's asking if we want to use a HTTP interface. For the purposes of this, we don't have to use a HTTP in, HTTP interface. So we're just going to press zero. And now it's going to ask us what currency we want to mine. Um, Electronium's uh, new algorithm is the Kryptonite V7, this one here. So you want to double left click and then come down here and double right click. And that automatically populates it. Tap enter and then it's going to ask you for the pool address. Um, the pool address and the port, which is this, um, these, these four, this four digit uh, number as well. Um, so if we go back to the uh, to the um, Hash Vault Pro Electronium one here, we was on getting started. Now we're going to go over to Ports, um, and we're going to copy over this um, 
cool uh, address here. So we're going to copy that. And depending on what hardware you use, you will use one of these ports. So because I'm using a 1080 Ti, that's classed as high-end hardware. So I'll be using port 7777. So if we go back to the, um, the XMR stack, pull address, paste that in, and then you want to put a colon there. And then you also want to put um, 7777 uh, or, or the port that um, for, for your hardware. Um, sorry, my phone's just decided to go off. Um, and it's London, so I imagine it's just a scam or bloody spam or something. Um, apologies for that. <laughs> um, so in terms of figuring out what works sometimes the it, it it will fail because of this port so um and if you, if it fails the easiest thing to do would be to simply delete this folder completely permanently delete it from the um recycling bin re-extract it and then you've just got a fresh new version you'll, you'll have to go through those first couple steps again but um but it's all about getting the um the the, the port right um to start with so if i maximize that which literally made no difference because it's still quite can i zoom in no it's not zooming in but um it's fine um so tap enter and now it's wanting your username which will be your etn address in terms of that i'm not going to go on my etn um wallet what i'm going to do instead is go onto my uh one of my youtube videos this is last night video if you haven't checked it out already go check it out um I'm going to take my ETN address. Obviously, if you'd like to donate to the channel, help support and grow the channel, um, help to support future giveaways and things like that, that's my public ETN address. You can send along some ETN. Um, not compulsory at all. Don't worry if, if you don't. You definitely don't have to. But um, but it, it, I really appreciate it. And yeah, that's it, basically. <laughs> um, so I'm going to copy this and paste it here and tap enter password don't need one so you just press x enter press enter again to leave that empty no no which is an n enter and n again enter and now it it's going to fire up and this might make obs really slow um as, as, as I can see, it is making it really slow. And I've got an error there. And that error... Um, so, so apologies if it, if it all went slow then. Your computer will run slowly um, once you set up the miner because it is using all that power. Um, and the reason why it's failed right there is because of the configuration settings of the, um, of the NVIDIA GPU hardware. And luckily, uh, I've got a fix for that as well. So if you go to the XMR stack folder, now this 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 won't happen to you all. This this lo this will happen to you if you run a 1080 Ti. But um, what you want to do is you want to go into the NVIDIA. I think it's the NVIDIA um, text file that's within the um, the folder. Open it, and then here it is here. And what you want to do here is where it says uh, B factor 6, B sleep 25. What we want to do is we want to change the B sleep to 10. And we want, no, sorry, the B factor to 10 and the B sleep to 100. Now, what's that allowing to do is it's allowing to let everything else. It al basically allows Windows to still be run. So it's not hogging all of that juice. You want to save it and close it. And now when we fire up XMR stack again, it will automatically log back into your configuration settings. Um, if you ever need to start over again, just simply delete that uh, the XMR, uh, the extracted folder. Because now, obviously, we've got more files in here now. Um, 
delete it from the recycling bin so it's permanently deleted and then just re-extract and start all over again that's that's what i've done for this and um, for the purpose of, the, of this video but um apologies that it, it might uh, go really slow now i just want to i just want to make sure that it still works and then i'll stop it again and i'll show you how you can um how you can monitor uh your 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 mining um performance how much etn you're roughly doing and what's your hash rate and stuff so if we double click on xmr stack again um if you get an administrator thing just say yes now it's going to come through it's saying failed on these on these few things but um we just want to show that it is working it may take some time But we just want to make sure that we are receiving blocks and blocks are getting accepted. Hey guys, sorry I had to cut it there. The um, Obviously once you start up the miner and that, it, it it hogs so much power and OBS just, it just, it just shits itself basically and makes things impossible to record. But um, I took a screenshot of, of, of what you should be seeing. Um, and basically once it, this memory allocation failed, it, it, it doesn't matter because it eventually logs itself into the pool, um, into the port, and then it's looking for new blocks. It's adjusting the difficulty. And as you can see, the difficulty got lower and lower. And then the result got accepted by the pool, which means that you're getting a hash rate. Now you can, you can use three keys, uh, for this as well. You can press, um, I think it's H on the miner to get your hash rate r for results and c for connection and um and what i'm going to show you now is going back to the um the hash vault uh system here um go to dashboard and then in this bit here you can actually um so obviously mine's already in here but you can enter the um, your ETM wallet address that you've had associated, track the live stats, and then it gives you a live um, a live feed of what's going on. Um, so obviously, I've deleted everything, re-downloaded everything, so it looks like that my um, shares and that are really low. But obviously, the more you have it on, the more it um, it updates itself. Um, at the moment, I don't have 211 hashes because I'm currently not mining because <laughs> I've closed it in order to, 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 to do this video. But um, but yeah, that is that is that is it. Um, obviously, like I said, if you run into the problem where you're getting a, um, a CUDA error, it will be down to your 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 GPU's um, configuration. So again, go into that setting, um, the NVIDIA text file change the b factor and the b sleep to uh to 10 and 100 accordingly and it should work obviously as well if you use different hardware and it's not working just um just put in a google for the com uh, the xmr stack config for that um for that gpu and there's you it's usually on like reddit or github you'll find um the answers to that so if you found this video helpful, I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. Um, obviously, in terms of like, you can go to like your payments so you can see what was paid when. Obviously, at the moment, it's not going to be profitable, and that is because of the high difficulty, I and mean, we're and we're and we're bringing the difficulty down. But um, but yeah, that that is how you mine electronium, guys. I hope you like this video um it was a long time coming um i wanted to do this video ages ago uh even before the fork but um but yeah that it's it's really once you set it up it is really simple so um so yeah give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you're new i've got a lot more videos coming up in the near future and um, some really interesting videos and um and subscribe to the channel so so yeah, um, comment down below if you found this helpful and I'll catch you guys out in the next video. Peace out.